Hi everyone, it's Nicole from Musical Orbit here. Um, I'm really pleased to be able to tell you there's some great audio software out there which is going to enable you to have a much better music lesson. As you know, video conferencing is not built for music, it's built for speaking. It likes to sort of get rid of any background noise that might be around um, and you don't have to wear headphones with it so there's always echo cancellation. These kind of things can make the sound really difficult for music lessons. You miss all the nuances, sometimes the sound will suddenly compress, um, it might sound a bit like you're underwater sometimes. Um, but this audio uh, software that I'm going to show you now um, is absolutely amazing. You'll be able to hear your students crystal clear and they'll be able to hear you crystal clear as well. So. Here's how it goes. So you need to open up a browser in Google Chrome. It needs to be Google Chrome at the moment. This only works on Google Chrome. I'm sure in the future they'll um, change it so that it works everywhere else as well. But right now you need to download Google Chrome if you don't already have it. And you type into the address bar now.source-elements.com slash hashtag exclamation mark slash we are at uh, Source Elements and first of all we need to create an account. So we're going to click here on the blue button create an account and then we have to choose a username and password. Uh, press the green continue button and in we go. Now it will also ask you do you have an iLock account um, and presumably you don't so you want to set one of those up. Uh, so here I'm going to click on the green button down here I don't have an iLock account and I go and I create one. So I fill in my email address, my basic contact details, the privacy level down here. Um, I always do it uh, to the highest privacy option. Uh, just my contacts um, can join me, so that's good. Read the terms and conditions and then check that. And then you click here to create your own account. You can then go and sign in. Click on sign in. And it takes you to a dashboard. Now they do actually have um, a version of this with video and audio. Uh, at the moment uh, we're finding that the synchronization isn't good enough to be able to conduct a, a lesson um, and so what we're doing is having people have the video on Zoom or FaceTime or Skype or whatever they're using and then they do the audio through this. Um, so you can try the easy video chat if you want which is just here this little yellow bar here um, but we're suggesting very strongly at this point that you go down here to the application section to source connect now this purple button so click on that and in we go so then we sign in we've created our account so we just sign in with that and it remembers me which always makes me feel good great now we're going to start the connection so we're going to start that connection with the audio by clicking there um, the sound quality um, I choose best stereo um, interestingly I only have a uh, mic on one ear so I only needed mono but it didn't seem to let me in with that I'm not quite sure why so I'm now using best stereo the number of people in the meeting is uh, not including yourself so if I'm having a lesson with somebody I will just put in the number one for them and then there's me as well um, there will also be a pass key that you can make up here you can, there can be any word that you like which is just an extra level of security so you can put that in and then you press this black button connect now It will take you into the meeting and you can see here this green thing going up and down, going mental as I talk. That's great. It can hear me, which is always good to know. And we look up here on the right. Yes, we've got this best stereo sound. It's using my internal microphone. We're finding we don't even need to use plug-in microphones for this. It's that good. Um, obviously, if you want to, great, um, but you don't have to. Now, with the speakers, we need this to be headphones. As I said before, it's really, really important that you're using headphones for this and that you can't just use the speakers that are in there. So there it is, headphones built in there. Um, you must have those headphones on. And then you want to invite somebody to join you. So you click on that invite button up there. And so down here you put in your guest name, their email address. You give them great sound as well, why would you not? Uh, if you find that people can't get into the meeting for some reason, if it's showing um, that if there's a problem with the connection, you might want to lower this. Um, I mean, top is still amazing. Great's also good. I mean, so, you know, that's obviously the best one, but it, they're, they're not lying with all these superlatives here. It's really very good. Uh, include the guest pass key in the invitation. That means that the person will receive that. Um, 
put in their email there and their name. There you go, their name, their email address, the sound, the pass key, and you just click that. It will send those details to them. They've been sent. You either invite someone else or you can just close this then. So we're now waiting for somebody to join us. This is what the email will look like that's been sent to them. Um, so they, all they'll do is they'll click on this link here and when they're asked to enter the pass key, they will enter whatever's typed in here. They can just type that in and then click connect and they will be in the meeting with you. So now you've invited them in, uh, you're just going to wait to see them appear on the screen. And then as if by magic, there they are, there they are appearing on the screen. Hello. And you just have to remind them, of course, before they come into that call, to put their headphones on. It's really important, don't forget it. So now you've had a lovely successful lesson. Uh, you've had the picture on Zoom or FaceTime or Skype, either on another device or on the same screen as this, but just on, on the, the other side of the screen. So you could split the screen in half. Um, and now you want to end it. So you need to end the Zoom or FaceTime or Skype bit first, um, and then you can end this bit. Or you could do it the other way around if you want, um, but you need to make sure you end both bits of the meeting, of course. Uh, so all you do to end Source Connect is you close the tab it's in. So you get the student to make sure they've left first, get them to close the window completely, um, and then you close yours and you're done.